Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics. They're bad for you, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on BitChute, the name of my BitChute channel is Comic Freak. Or if you're watching this on Library, welcome when it's up and ready. We're going to be talking about Mark Hamill with this article. Star Wars Mark Hamill regrets he couldn't work with more sequel trilogy actors. Mark Hamill expresses regret that he didn't get a chance to work with more of the actors of the sequel trilogy, as well as the late Peter Cushing. Mark Hamill regrets not getting to work with more of the actors in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. The actor, best known for playing Luke Skywalker, had a prominent role in Star Wars The Last Jedi and a cameo in The Rise of Skywalker, but really didn't interact with any of the characters besides Rey and Kylo. Luke technically returned in the sequel trilogy at the end of Star Wars The Force Awakens, when Rey finds him living in exile on the island of arak -to. The optimistic young Skywalker from the original trilogy had grown into a cantankerous old man by the time Rey returns his lightsaber. Ashamed of what he feels to be his greatest failure, Kylo Ren, although Luke and Rey have great scenes together as an eager student and a reluctant teacher, she's really the only person Luke interacts with the majority of the time in the sequels, although fans would wanted Luke's death to be retconned so we could have more to do in The Rise of Skywalker, Luke only had a small although epic cameo as a first ghost catching his lightsaber when Rey attempted to burn it. It is Luke's only scene in the final film of the sequels, and was revealed to later have been a reshoot. I see this article as keeping up the story that Disney basically destroyed and disparaged Luke's character in the sequel trilogy and isn't throwing any shade at it, even though everyone knows they hate what they did to Luke Skywalker, and even this article seems to say, or at least comes off, that it was a good thing. When a fan asked Mark Hamill on Twitter which actor from Star Wars he wished Luke could have shared a scene with, if there was a chance, Hamill posted a touching reply. Not only did Hamill... Start with the late and great Peter Cushing, who played Grand Moff Tarkin, but he said basically everyone else from the films calling out the sequel trilogy actors in particular. In a funny way, it's a quintessential Luke Skywalker response. Check out Hamill's tweet below. We see Hamill responding to AA, hi Mark. Is there any actor in Star Wars you would have liked to share a scene with but didn't get the chance? Mark Hamill replied, From Peter Cushing on, every single one of them, imagine the fantastic sequel trilogy actors and only working with two of them. It does sound like Mark Hamill was in character as Luke Skywalker there, doesn't it? And as others have said, it does sound like he's throwing low amounts of shade at Disney for not allowing him to have more screen time with the actors in the new Disney trilogy. Just think of what we could have gotten instead of what we did. Although it's never a possibility in any major film for a main character to interact with every single other main character, the pacing and plot issues alone would wreak havoc on the film's quality. Luke's limited interactions with other characters in the sequels is a wasted opportunity. While it was wise for the present films to focus on new characters and not hinge entirely on nostalgia factor to bring audiences in, it would have been spectacular to see Luke interacting with Finn and Poe, or to see more scenes of him training a young Kylo Ren, among many other possibilities. There were also the lack of connection between the three films and Luke's sacrifice at the end of Star Wars The Last Jedi was basically acknowledged in The Rise of Skywalker. What would have been great is if Luke's death had inspired the Resistance fleet that came to the rescue in the final film's epic battle. I think one of the biggest problems with the Disney trilogy is basically them destroying the original trilogy characters, but if Luke had interacted with the Resistance in more of the movies, then I think the characters would have come off a lot better. And they shouldn't have tried to promote Kylo Ren and Rey over the original trilogy characters. That just comes off disrespectful to Star Wars, period. Mainly because of what we got with those characters was just bad. Mark Hamill is a fantastic actor who has done an incredible job portraying the legendary Luke Skywalker over the years. While the sequel trilogy did a great job of introducing a fine cast of new characters and shining a spotlight on old familiar fan favorites. There was so much missed potential just from Luke's lack of character interactions alone. However, this is Star Wars after all, and if there is any place where Luke Skywalker can return, it's a galaxy far, far away.
If you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people. So make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Read comics, they're bad for you. Then go over to BitChute and subscribe to my BitChute channel, Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button and leave some comments down below. And if you could, could you also please share this video? Share it on Twitter, share it on Reddit, and share it on Facebook. Share it anywhere you think it'll do the most good because YouTube is not going around promoting their own YouTube creators anymore. And it would really help me if you could please share this video. Now listen closely. It's that time of the day again. Keep checking back in all my future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book scum dogs. I'm Chris Williams and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.